always used to hear quotes about how the present moment is all that matters. But whenever I used to hear this, I would think that's ridiculous. I have to look back into the past to learn lessons and I have to look into the future to understand where I'm going and to plan. Well, recently I ran a half marathon and being new to running for the first four miles, I went all out. I went way too fast and I got really, really, really tired. And it meant that the rest of the race was actually a lot more of a mental battle than I thought it would be. And there was one singular question that I kept asking myself again and again and again, as I was tired, as I wanted to quit, as I wanted to literally pretend I was injured or take a shortcut to the race. This singular question I asked myself again and again and again got me through to the end of the race at a time that I'm pretty proud of. And it was during that race when I finally understood why so many people, so many philosophers say that it is only the present moment that matters. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly why that is the case, but I'm going to explain it in a purely logical, scientific way. No woo-woo, none of this hippie stuff, just straight facts. And I'll also reveal what that question I repeated to myself again and again was. But before that, I really have to lay the foundations to all of that stuff. One of the kind of mental models that I started to implement in my life that's helped me understand this and a lot of other things is to recognize that life is simply a set of experiences. That is all life is. Experience after experience after experience. And some experiences have gone by, and that's what we call the past. There's one experience that we're living at the moment, and that's called the present moment. And there's a lot of experiences that are yet to come in the future. And that is obviously what we call the future. At any point in time, you are going through an experience whether you're watching this video, whether you're sleeping, or whether you're hitting 100,000 subscribers. By the way, I really appreciate that. And out of all of those experiences, we should only focus on the present experience, but that's quite difficult to prove. But luckily, Charlie Munger gave us the inversion rule. So let's focus on why we shouldn't focus on the past and why we shouldn't focus on the future. And if we can establish that, then it's obvious that we should focus on the present moment. The first step to understanding why we shouldn't focus on the past is to recognize that it's out of our control. Unfortunately, we're not in Back to the Future. There's no time machines that we can go back in. Or we're not in Harry Potter. There's no watches that we can twist that take us back and we can alter the past. Once it's gone, it's set in stone and you can't alter what's done in the past. But yet so many of us let negative experiences that happened in the past spill over into our present or into the future. Have you ever remembered back to something embarrassing that you said to someone or something embarrassing that you did and you have a replay in your mind again and again and again? Have you ever done a public speech? You didn't deliver it the way you want to. And then in the future, you're a little bit more worried about public speaking than you were before. This happens all of the time. There's no benefit of looking back into those negative things in the past. It's just something that happens naturally. But the more we allow it to happen, the more we live our lives in the past, the more we think that we're some static person that can't improve in the, in the future. We identify ourselves as our past experiences, which means that we don't do anything different. Habits become even more formed. We become more of the same person. Our negative traits become exemplified. That one seems pretty obvious to me. But the one that I used to struggle with was why we shouldn't focus on the future. Whenever someone would say you should only focus on the present, I would think that they're stupid. And this was the argument that would come to my mind. If I only focus on the present moment, I'm not going to plan ahead for the future. I'm not going to, you know, go and get groceries for the week, let alone plan and build my life the way I want it to be. Yes, of course you should plan for the future. You should have an understanding of what you want to achieve, the kind of person you want to become, and the kind of life you want to live. We actually created a system for that in the procrastination program. It's very beneficial. But once you've got there, you should no longer dwell on it. You should live in the present moment. Let me explain why. Like I said, life is a set of experiences. And the only way you can get to the future is through the present moment. That is the vehicle which takes you to the future. So instead of focusing on the future, all you can do is focus on the present moment. That is something you can control. If you're constantly worrying or thinking about how you're gonna do something in a few years time, that's just a waste of energy. The only way that you can get the future you want is by making good decisions in the present moment. And whether you have a good future or a bad future is simply dependent on whether in the present moment you make good decisions or whether you make bad decisions. 
If you make a greater percentage of good decisions in the present moment, you're going to have a good future. And if you make a greater percentage of bad decisions in the present moment, you're going to have a bad future. It's just the way it works. It's the only way that it works. So when I was running that half marathon, when I was looking to the finish line, I thought, oh, I've got six miles left. This is brutal. I'm not going to be able to do it. This is overwhelming. This is terrifying. I didn't make any progress. But when I said to myself, one more step is all that it takes, then everything changed. Yes, of course I can take one more step. And yes, of course I can take one more step. That is the symbol for making good decisions in the present moment. Don't get overwhelmed by the future. Make good decisions in the present and then your future will come with those good decisions. So all I was saying to myself again and again and again is just one more step. It made everything manageable and it still got me to my end result. It still got me towards my goal. In fact, it got me to my goal far better than if I was just to focus on the future obsessively. So the most important question that you can ask yourself ever, the only important question ever is, what am I gonna do in the present moment? And the answer to that question decides absolutely everything that happens in your life. If you agree with me and you can see the significance of this, I'd appreciate it if you could click the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I deeply appreciate it. And if you want to start by making a good decision in the present moment, then I have a message from Dashlane, which is today's sponsor. Dashlane is a mobile and desktop app that streamlines everything you do online. It lets you log in instantly, breeze through forms, and zoom through checkouts on every device that you own. Millions of people use Dashlane because it saves you time and keeps you safe with features such as one-click logins, a truly safe place to store passwords and important information, a built-in VPN, and notifications if your passwords ever get leaked and more. So go to dashlane.com slash Andrew Kirby to get a 30 day free trial or use the promo code Andrew Kirby to get 10% off your premium membership. I appreciate you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.